Hello, uh, I actually had to make part two of this video because it was too long, so uh, here's the continuation of RNG shiny flawless Pokemon um, with PP, RNG, and Pokejack. Alright, so after you've uploaded it, this is what you should see. Um, in your seed inspector, you should have a list of Pokemon and uh, you can go to Pokecheck and go to the first Pokemon on your list which will be that Vulpix. Alright now I don't see it on my list with the uh, nature and stuff so I'm gonna find out what it is and where it came from. So the best way that you can do this that I found out was if you click on the Pokemon specifics and scroll down, you'll see this number, uh, 1B4 something something, you know, it's different. Um, so you want to go back to your seed inspector and click on the uh, PID, that's the Pokemon ID. Um, if you don't see it on that list, I don't see it there, so um, you can go up to the time and click a second down. So it says 13 and hit generate. It'll give you the Pokemon that you would have found if you'd hit the button a second too soon. So I scroll down and I look for it and there it is. I see it right there. Uh, timid and alert to sounds. So I know that I hit my button a second too early. So at least I know I'm doing the right thing right now. Now, this method of finding a shiny flawless Pokemon, you name it, takes a lot of trial and error. Like, you might hit it a second early, you might hit it a second late, but the important part is knowing what you did wrong and how you can fix it. Like, for example, I just showed you that I hit it a second early, and I showed you that I can could have hit it a second late. Right there, I go to 15 and generate. Also, this thing called timer zero isn't always the same. So sometimes it might be 1261, it might be 125F or something. Um, it's just nice to know that you have all your things set up. Because, for example, if I had accidentally kept my Ditto box che checked, I would have a completely different list of Pokemon. And I could spend hours trying to land on a Pokemon that I would never get. Now, let's say for example that I had gotten this Pokemon, the Bashful one. This is how I'm going to teach you how to advance your frames. Now, see on the side there where it says 44, and the one that I'm looking for is 50. Or, I think. Alright, so let's say it's 50, um, the one I'm looking for, and the one that I got was this Bashful one. You want to uh, open your menu as soon as you get into the game. Um, you just want to spam X when it gets to that seasons uh, part and open your menu and go to the summary of your chatot. Now you would want to listen to the summary of your chatot six times because the Pokemon you got was 44 and the Pokemon you need is 50. That's how simple it is. Just listen to its cry. Now I had to try this a few times before I got a Pokemon that was actually on the seed but I'll show you that in just a second. Um, I didn't want to show you just me hatching a Pokemon over and over again, so don't think that you're going to get it on the first try. You may have to do it a few times. So I finally hatched a Pokemon that was on my list for that particular seed. Um, here it is. It is uh, timid and alert to sounds, I think. Uh, I didn't show it long enough. Or somewhat vain. There it is. Um, now... If you look at it, the Pokemon I want is at 50, and this one is 46. So that means next time I hatch, I have to... So I just hit home, I go back because I'm saved right in front of the daycare man. So you want to go back into your menu and reset the time again to the one that you're targeting. Um, I actually tried this multiple times, like I said, so uh, I finally... Finally got what I was looking for, so here's uh, the video of me actually hatching the egg I'm looking for, and I'll explain frames and how you advance them. So, this is me setting the time.
So as I said earlier, the Pokemon that I hatched after grabbing it right from the daycare center was uh, frame 46, and the one I'm looking for is frame 50. So you want to have your Chatots in your party ready to go at this point. Um, before you even do any of this, you should have at least one Chatot in your party that no, that has a recorded chatter. It has to be recorded. So here's the back of my DS. As you can see, there is no AR or any kind of hacking device, just my DS and my game and my computer. Um, right now I'm waiting for my target time, which is uh, at 06 seconds. Um, it's kind of boring watching me waiting around, but uh, patience pays off for this kind of thing. So I'm holding my select, which does that funny thing with my screen. <laughs> but it's fine, it's not broken. And uh, you want to hold your select and not like click it through this part. You just want to hold it until you see the uh, little cinematic for Game Freak and then you're good to go to let it go. So you want to hit A pretty quickly through this and uh, start spamming X as soon as you pass through that part of the menu. This will open up your Pokemon uh, party inventory thing. Um, so then you just click on your chat tot and hit summary. Do not hit chatter. That'll uh, kind of screw you up. So you just want to flip between the two uh, chat tots until you hear their cries four times, which is what I need to do, and then immediately pick up the egg. Alright. Now this part's kind of boring because you're going to watch me hatch it, but it's well worth it. Alright, so super fast hatching, uh, I sped up this part of the video so that you wouldn't have to watch me hatch it. Uh, sorry if it gives you motion sickness, I would just look away until I say that it is hatching. Um, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, I do not have any AR attached to my game. This is all just using PP, RNG, and uh, Pokecheck, and a little bit of math. Alright, so here we go, the egg is hatching. Um, Kind of blurry. There you go. Fixed it a little bit. And ta-da! There it is. There's your shiny Vulpix. Um, I'm going to show you on my computer after this. I'm going to upload it onto the GTS Pokecheck. See, no AR. And uh, I will show you that it is also flawless, meaning 31 IVs in every stat, and it has its Dream World ability, Drought. There it is. Awful cute. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once you got it down, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it can sound really confusing and really overwhelming the first few times you do this, but once you get it, it's like it comes to you like common sense. Um, I'm actually new at this, so I thought I'd make a video because I feel like maybe I can answer your questions better than someone who's been doing it for a while because this really confused me when I first learned it and I thought for a really long time that I was way too stupid to learn RNG. Alright, so here's me making the video so you can see I didn't upload any strange Pokemon. Um, here is my Pokecheck and my Pokemon. And there's my shiny Vulpix, Timid, Drought, and IVs and all of her stats. Um, like I said, it can be really confusing when you first start. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. Um, this video is basically just going to be a uh, supplement to anyone who doesn't understand RNG after watching some of the other videos on YouTube. Um, also, once again, I just want to thank the creators of Pokecheck and PPRNG um, for making this possible for me. Uh, I am on a Mac and uh, this is basically the only way I can learn RNG. Um, if you're like me, and you're really confused by it at first, just keep trying and uh, you may have to watch a video or two 
a few times. You may have to read a few guides more than once, but you can get it. If I can do it, you can do it.